How's it? Welcome to my updated finance service walkthrough. This video is going to show you step by step how to use this dashboard and how to use Notion to manage and track your income, your expenses, your monthly subscriptions, your budgets, your income targets, your bank accounts, invoices, basically everything you need in order to manage and stay on top of your finances all in one clean looking dashboard that not only looks aesthetic but is reliable and personally the system that I've been using for the past two years to manage all of my finances. And I'm also going to show you how to set up your phone in a way where if you make a payment using your phone's wallet it automatically logs it as an expense to your finance tracker the link to this dashboard is in the description below and with that out of the way let's get started all right so let's go through the different sections starting with the overview section where you can see your total income expenses profit and taxes as well as for each year here you can visually see the progress of your finances according to the profit here you'll be able to see your total monthly income and also their income sources here same thing but for expenses so the total monthly expense amount as well as their sources sources and then here you'll be able to see your total monthly subscriptions so this is how much you're paying per month and you can also see which one is taking the biggest piece of the pie and if you click here at the bottom it will hide them so that you can sort of see how it would look without that subscription and you can always click on this to open up the database entry or in this case you can click on one of the sources which will show you all of the database entries which is also linked to that source next we have the budget tracker so over here you have a business personal savings and investments plan you can add more you can remove some of these just make sure that this adds up to 100% so basically you can allocate a percentage of your monthly income to these pillars so over here we got 50% of our money which is a thousand dollars because we've earned two thousand dollars in total a thousand dollars 50% goes to business 30% to personal etc and then this one shows the total expenses that you've made in these pillars and then it shows the remaining amount so as you can see we have a monthly budget of six hundred dollars for our personal pillar and we've spent $70 so far so we have $530 remaining you don't need to do anything here the calculations does it automatically all you need to do is decide what percentage of your monthly income needs to go to what pillar and then you have your income and expense sources this is what your income and expenses are linked to when you add them and as you can see it shows your total monthly amount so how much you've earned this month for each of the sources you can set your monthly goal so I can click here and I can change this to 2000 then you'll see that we have $500 remaining for 75% complete towards our progress to our goal and this one just shows the total that you've earned for each of your sources. And then for expenses it's the exact same thing except here you have a monthly expense budget instead of a goal so you want to be under the budget whereas with income ideally you're over the goal but here you have your budget that you can set so food for example let's say my budget for food is 50 bucks then you can see we have 30 dollars remaining because we've already spent 20 this month and our progress is 40 percent it will show the total and then here it will also show what pillar these expense sources are linked to on the overview section and again you can add all remove as many income or expense sources as you want then underneath the budget tracker we have the finance tracker itself and these two views these are going to be the main views that you'll be using to log anything and both of these are filtered to today so if you add in a new income for example because this is the income view as you can tell from the icons this is the expense one so if you add in a new income here you can link it to a bank account so let's say this is linked with business income amount so let's say this is 420 dollars income source Sources. this is coaching and then it automatically has today's date and you can also add an invoice and then for expenses it's the exact same thing so basically you just add them in the today views even if it doesn't have today's date it's just easier to add them in here and then you just click on the date and change it if necessary and then the remaining three views are very similar this first one shows all of the income grouped according to the month with the total income amount this one for expenses and then this one shows both of them but with the profit so you can always go to these views to just quickly see the total monthly profit expense or income amount or find something that you need and also when you open up a database entry you'll see these four properties are pinned at the top the date bank accounts profit and invoice and then if you click on income it shows the income amount and income source and if you click on expenses it shows the expense amount and expense sources next we have the bank accounts so this is what your income and expenses are linked to over here and as you can see it shows the total so if i open up one of them then here you can add in a start amount which is how much 
amount you currently have in that bank account and then as you add new income or expenses that amount will increase or decrease and the total will show over here it's not obviously going to be 100 accurate because there's going to be bank fees and missing transactions but sort of just to have a general understanding of how much you have in that bank account and then last but not least we have the subscription tracker which is probably my favorite part about this dashboard so over here you'll be able to see all of your active subscriptions sorted according to the next payment date so the one that you're going to pay next will show up first it will show the amount that you need to pay and on the date and the date is updated automatically so this depends on the billing cycle so in this case it is weekly so $200 every week it started on March 31st and as you can see it's on a Monday so the next payment date is not going to be the 28th this was the previous one it's going to be the fifth which is going to be the next one as you can see here and if I change this to monthly then same thing so because it is March 31st the previous payment would have been the 30th and then the next one is then going to be the 31st of May as you can see over there so it updates automatically whether it's weekly monthly quarterly yearly if it's paused or cancelled it will just disappear from this view so yeah this is updated automatically the amount as well when it comes to the monthly amount that what shows on the charts so in this case the next payment is on May 5th and the previous payment which would have been in this case on the 28th we have not yet logged it as an expense to our finance tracker so if we go to this third view over here it will show so as you can see coaching program I have yet to log it as an expense which is $200 on April 28th so if I click on log then it will automatically log it as an expense so let's go over here coaching program as you can see it's linked to my business bank account it's software April 28th $200 it's now linked and logged as an expense and we can do the same for all of these so this is basically just a backlog if you haven't yet logged it as an expense you just go over here click on log everything is now logged to your finance tracker so if I go over here you'll see there's notion there's community so yeah this is pretty much how this works and then this middle view is just all the cancelled subscriptions so yeah that took a while to figure out but this is one of the biggest updates with this finance OS which I'm pretty proud of and yeah as you can see it will now show these next payment is due on this date and this shows according to the next payment date you don't have to update the renewal date or anything like that it will just update automatically and these will move along and then on the second view it will just show all of your finances and again if you want to see how much you're paying in subscriptions each month just go to the overview section and then here on the subscription chart it will show the monthly amount Month, and you can always just click on this in order to change it so if I change it to monthly you'll see obviously this will decrease a lot and you can click on these in order to sort of see how it would look without certain subscriptions and obviously the goal is to get this number as low as possible also now I'm going to show you how to set up your phone so that if you pay with your Apple wallet it will automatically log an expense and open up the database entry and how to add this page here at the bottom as a widget so that you can just quickly click on this widget open up this page and click on this button in order to log an expense where you also have a chart showing your total monthly amount all right so i'm here on my phone let me just go ahead and switch to deep work and over here if you hold in on your phone's home screen click on edit click on add widget and then go to notion then you can go ahead and select this page widget and you can click on done hold on this widget click edit the widget and then here find the page click on the page tap out of the widget and now when i click on this widget you'll see that it will open up the page and here I can click this button to log an expense and I have my chart here at the bottom and now let me show you how to automate it so that when you pay with Apple wallet it will automatically log an expense so what you want to do is you want to go to your iPhone shortcuts this only works for iPhone sorry Android but if you go into your iPhone shortcuts then over here you want to add a new shortcut at the top you want to search for notion you want to select create document and then over here the title you just want to be blank so ask each time and then body just leave blank and then the database you want to select your expense tracker and then yeah that's pretty much it here you can change your account your workspace settings and then if I click on it to run the action you'll see that it asks for a name so I can just add in food click on done and then it will open up the database entry inside of notion where I can add in all of the other details and now we can go ahead and create an automation so you just want to click on the automation tab click on plus and then here you can select all the different triggers so in this case the trigger is going to be transaction and you can select the transaction the different types and then just select run immediately afterwards click on next and then you want to select that shortcut which is login expense like that and there we 
we go. If you now run this automation, which it obviously isn't gonna work because you have to actually make a payment, which I don't have a card machine with me. But yeah, when you make a payment, it will then automatically trigger that shortcut, aka log an expense to your finance tracker and then open up that database entry. And something else you can do as well is if you lock your phone, you go to your home screen and you just tap and hold on your home screen, click on customize, select your lock screen. Then here you can remove this icon and you can replace it with a shortcut. So I clicked on the plus, select shortcut and here you can choose your shortcut. So I'm gonna select the one that we just created, click out. And as you can see, it has now been replaced with a new shortcut as you can see there in the left corner. And if I hold on it and open my screen, it will then automatically run that action. So you can also change that to just open a page in Notion or pretty much do anything. But in this case, you can make it so that it quickly adds a expense when you open up your phone. And in case you're curious about this one, this is also just shortcuts that changes the focus mode. So depending on what I'm doing, I can click on these and it will change the icons. It will change the apps that's being loaded, the widgets, and it changes the focus mode. So this is also just something that is pretty cool and you can play around with. And there you go. That's a full walkthrough of my Finance Hours dashboard, the link to which is in the description below. Be sure to give this video a like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.